push this combat utility belt. There we go away. For skill checks, you can like copy it and rename it for other types of skills. Um, usually, the skill check is the first three letters of the skill name, except when it um, kind of matches up with another stat. Like, what was... Did it... Like, Intimidation, you would think it would be I-N-T, but since that... You know, right. Sonus Morale. Mm -hmm. It's huh. like, instead it's I like I-T... D or something or ITM? I don't remember. But um, another thing is where do we find this? Uh you don't like just having your character sheet like up but minimized, right? Yeah. Uh, no. I don't know. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, I'm um, kidding. Did you did you fix that add-on that allowed you to make it another tab? Um, I updated it. I don't know if it's fixed. <laughs> okay, I'll try. I'll try it with your character sheet. So I'm gonna click pop out. Let's see what happens. Uh, I don't. Oh yeah, a new one. It popped it out for me. Um, I bet it pops it out. It just is another tab. Yeah. It which loads the calendar and junk, but uh, yeah, yeah, right. It, it loads the calendar, but then nothing else. Oh, nothing else at all. Yeah, you're right. Uh, oh, there mine goes. Yeah, it took a bit for mine to uh, to load the rest of the I mean, I'll stuff. Ju I'll just leave it for a bit. But... Okay. Uh, the other thing is, if you just double-click the character sheet, it just minimizes it. And you can, like, Ooh. tuck it away in a corner or something. Um, Unless you're like me and you play all of your tabletop RPGs exclusively from your character sheet, in which case, none of this matters. <laughs> well, I mean, that's, you know, if you want to have it up all the time. I'm just saying if you want to get it out of the way, you want to see the map better then, yeah, just double-clicking on it minimizes it. Um, it's pretty pretty convenient. Nice. But yeah, if there's skill checks that you do use frequently, we can, we can make a macro for it. Since I don't think they let you drag the stuff onto the bar yet. Again. I hate to be the Oops, guy, but sorry. are you okay if I go run and grab water quick? Oh my god. God, why are you the guy? What other guy? Go for it. Classic the guy move. Oh, I guess the... Such a, such a the guy. <laughs> I guess it's not monster energy drink. That would probably be more like the guy. Yeah. <clears throat> um. Well, I just won't, I guess. I mean, to go get you water. probably should have <laughs> while we were making fun of you. <laughs> yeah, seriously, honestly. Yeah, you guys I lost like, track of what the question was. Us yeah. making fun of you is just like why have like go do it immediately. <laughs> it's not a no. It's it's an it's an emphatic yes. <laughs> Basically yes. Right. Um, you're yeah. lying to me. You're, you're mad. We are. Yeah. Outraged. You would I, never know. Yeah, I, I especially if I were when angry. Gino's mad. Just... I'm, I'm like I'm not just mad. I'm like I'm livid. Ooh. Um, Connor, while I'm you're furious. getting while you're getting water, I started just like jump right in. I imagine we're not going late, so might as well start as early as possible. Um, yeah. yeah. Nathan, can I lean more heavily on I'm you to back. do the recap since you have some, some secret side conversation information? Uh, yes, that sounds fine. Um, I will oh, first yeah, we, recap. We haven't played since that. No, yeah. we have not. Um, Go get your water! Yeah, I'll really, get I'll, going. Oh, oh, I'll Seriously, back. if you don't get water, I'll pee in a cup and make you drink it. Please, no. I yeah. hear that exactly. work, Go. <laughs> work works. I, anyway. <laughs> All right, let's get this. <laughs> let's get this stream started. Oh, stream get, just got recontextual. Carry on. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. All right. So uh, last time uh, before the secret session, uh, we did some uh, chasing after Mr. Aber Aberus Kane, uh, and he turned invisible, ran to a crowd. Is basically the the gist of how that ended up. After which we did a bit of research and discovered that Aberus Kane was a elf fella that had hung around with Adam uh, as part of the uh, God Fighters or whatever they were called back in the day. The Godums. Uh, we got a the what? Nothing. The Godums. Oh, I like it. Uh, Godim. 
got him. Uh, we uh, did all kinds of research. We found out he doesn't go to Sunday Mass. The fellow at the church didn't like him. Uh, met with the Harpies, met with Antonia, and uh, even Ludwig had a discussion about the possibility that Eve's brother had some kind of involvement. Uh, this kicked off the secret session, such as it was, where Ludwig and Sonus went to the Milo estate uh, to talk with uh, Daddy Milo about stuff. They spent quite a while there chatting with him about a variety of topics. Um, talked with him about Avaris Kane. He didn't know much about him, but I mean, didn't know where he was, but knew about him. Had no idea that he had and an involvement in any kind of shenanigans. Um, through the discussion, it seems that a lot of the uh, focus was uh, against, and I'm going to say it wrong, Dukius? Nah, that's right. Is that Dukius? All right. Uh, <laughs> sweet, sweet. Yeah, man, I was cringing here. think I'd say it wrong. Uh, where we found there were quite a few votes on his part uh, for military action against other places. Uh, it seems like he might have a bit of a warmonger trait to him. Um, basically, we found out that uh, prior to Adam's death, uh, Ducius had been for war, but the Emperor vetoed it. Uh, what else do we have? We know uh, that Calvin Atant got his position after his uh, previous... Uh, the previous leader of the Darters, I believe. Is that right? Is a he's yep. Bronze Darters. Yep. Okay. Uh, passed. Uh, we were thankfully reminded that uh, Casas Libra died after discussing uh, Adam's death with Marius and getting emotional. Um, other notes. Uh, nothing of crazy. We talk. We saw Seth, we found out he's heading back to Green Rock Hill um, and that he was hanging out in the horses, getting them uh, or with the horses, helping them get ready. Uh, Councilman Milo suggested that we act swiftly when we find a culprit so that they don't have time to basically react to anything and uh, kind of suggested that maybe we should just take the throne quickly and kind of deal with the fallout it seemed like. So that happened in the secret session? Yeah, that was kind of the gist. There was quite a dis lot of discussion about votes and whatnot, but I think the key discussion was Dukius seems like uh, a keen suspect, but it would be likely, according to the councilman Milo, that if we got the Emperor installed, the Emperor would take precedence over the armies, most of them, if it was him, would not follow, like, uh, Ducius. Like, he would not be able to take over immediately, uh, as long as we have an emperor. Uh, am I missing anything big there, Connor, if you're back? Um, I think that was the majority of it. I have a lot of notes here. I'm I'm summarizing a fair bit. No, fair. Um, cool. No, I think that's it. I'm just doing some copy and paste, <laughs> some preparation, note writing that I should have done before. But uh, yeah, so that's basically it. Um, let's see. That was kind of like the next, I want to say morning after the last session, after all the investigation before. Um, Correct. So, I'm back. Welcome back. So, Eve and uh, Eve and Solus, would you have anything in particular you were doing that morning while they were going out and? I already did my thing. Cool. That's uh, good, man. All right. Well, then I think we just start with them. Like you guys, basically coming back in the door at uh, Solus's place, assuming that's where everyone's still staying for now. Um. So, yeah. So yeah, Eve, Solus, you're probably just hanging out, doing your thing. Mm -hmm. Ben Griff's around. Actually, I think Ben Griff is gone. <laughs> he is uh, out. 
hanging up more flyers. And good. There's like a I don't think uh, Ludwig and Sonus know how to unlock the door, so I, I think they just <laughs> knock. <laughs> <laughs> Accurate. Is it a cloth door? No, it's um. Uh, I think it's just a wood door, but there's like he okay. Solus puts like a sigil of of locking right. on it. Um, so, so yeah, Solus, there is a knock on the door. I guess I open it, although it's a little weird. You you really have to tell us how to unlock that at some point. I showed you on the first day. Oh, oh really? Well, Okay, yeah, I you know these things slip your mind. Uh, it's some more of that magic stuff. Doesn't make a lot of sense. Uh, so Eve, we talked with your father. Uh, Eve is like, I guess, sitting there, like polishing her weapons, whatever. Like, literally, just in the blink of an eye, just chucks a knife across the, <laughs> the, the thing towards you, and I guess it like, I don't know if you just like come right in. But it just like it, it goes it's it like whizzes right by your face. <laughs> oh damn. <laughs> I mean You did what now? We went to talk to your father. He's a pretty nice guy actually. Eve's no, Eve, Eve I is know literally already just like Eve, walking like walking. Eve, I know you. it might be a little hard for you to understand, but he's saying father, okay? Oh yes, uh sorry, your papa. No, no, like, Eve is already up in Ludwig's face. What? Like, like rapier tip, like, at his throat. Be like, and give me a reason why I shouldn't just gut you right now. You did that behind my back. I'm not allowed to talk to your family? I just told my own father to fuck off. Yeah, well, I wanted to talk more with him. <laughs> That's not up for you to decide. It's not but your family. I didn't know well, that last you were time in charge. I, you know, Eve, I'm I'm no, I'm no government official or anything. But last time I checked, it wasn't against the law of the land to talk to other families. Okay. I'm talking about ethically speaking. <laughs> he went and talked to my father without my permission behind my back, and he did it like glancing over at Ludwig. He did it knowing full well how angry I would be if I knew that he was going to do it. That's why he didn't bring me with him. Isn't that I mean, right? Yeah, kind of. Uh, also, you know, sometimes when you talk with family, with family in the room, things get kind of weird. I don't care. Well, I think there's some good news, though. Uh, I we don't, don't... Want to hear it. <laughs> well, we don't think your brother killed people. I told you that my brother didn't kill people. You told That's us why you that went you there. thought. Well, well, I mean... You know... You know what they say, trust, but verify, okay? Yeah, see, he gets it. You got a fact, so you got a so fact check, check a mistake. people. <laughs> yeah, I, it's, look, I knew that sometimes uh, I can be, uh, how do you say, uh, a little blunt, so I took so that's along, and we had a very nice chat uh, with your father. He, you know, spoke very glowingly of you, uh, and we, uh... You know, we, uh, we got the new lead. Uh, but honestly, he kind of was like, why don't you just make the Emperor? Like, he seems kind of impatient about that, and I'm kind of in agreement with him. I think we might want to just pull the trigger. Uh, I found out that my father knew, right? The whole time. Uh, correct. Um, yeah. I just want to... I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at Ludwig and be like, my father's a liar. Well, okay, so he knew that um, the council covered it up. He did not know that the council committed the murder, although. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he, yeah. he told, he told me that he didn't know. He lied to me, basically. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at Ludwig and be like, you shouldn't trust a single word that man says. He's a uh, liar. He lied yeah, to, he so lied to his you. own family. I mean, we're kind of. You family, think if he right? lies to his own family, he's he's going to, what, suddenly start telling the truth to some goblin? Uh, I mean, um, at, at that point, Sonus would would like step in front of Ludwig and be like, and kind of like, 
not necessarily push Eve back, but get in the way for sure and be like, okay, okay, back up there. You know, just because he's a goblin doesn't mean he's any less of a, of a member of this group, okay? <laughs> he went behind you. my back and talked to my family. Okay, Eve, you've I, made I've, plenty I've of- I've killed Eve. people for less! <laughs> Eve, you've made plenty of mistakes, okay? Well, and Ludwig is done. It? Never mind. I'm leaving, and uh, she's gonna gather her stuff and like storm out. And I don't know, it... like, if the door is like un unlockable or whatever, but like, <laughs> <laughs> if, if it isn't, there's just gonna be like this, like, oh for Christ's sake, Solis, can you just open this door? I need to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> so you don't want to hear how we may know who killed Adam? She pauses. She's like, yeah. If it came from my it came from my father, then I'm sure he lied to you too. And you're a fool for trusting him. He didn't tell us anything. I mean, we found out voting records and stuff, but uh, no, it's more of a case of putting two and two together. I think we have an idea of who's probably behind it. He's got uh, my attention for about three seconds. Yeah, so here's the deal. We're... Uh, I don't want to tell you the name because I'm pretty sure you're just going to run out the door and go like, I'm gonna kill him now. And we can't have that. So, can you, like, promise not to do that? No. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, Salas, could you, like, lock the door in a different way or something? Dude, I'll cut my... I'll, I will cut my way out of this tent if I have to. Ludic, if you're worth holding this information from me, just know what I've done to people that I thought had some sort of information. What do you think I would do to you? If you willingly withheld this from me. Do I nothing. would hope that you'd understand that I'm doing it as a friend. Perhaps. Eve's gonna like calm down for a second and sit down. Give me a name. Uh... So, the leader of the army, uh, the, uh, uh, how do you call them, the River Legion? Uh, it's, uh, Mr., uh, uh, uh I'm to not check, I will check my notes, uh, Opulus Ducius? This is the guy that Goodbye. we heard about with, um, this is the guy that I heard about in the Clock Tower, right? Um, yeah. I'm gonna, like, look a bit Ludwig. Yeah. You know, it's... that's the name we heard with, from my meeting with, uh... God, I'm going to butcher this guy's name again. Uh -oh. Let's go to Discord real quick. <laughs> Is it Chambles? Yeah. Yeah. I was, I was honestly <laughs> gonna say fucking Shambles again. <laughs> <laughs> My career is at Campbell's. Campbell's? What is this, a soup company? I just... I felt that one in my... in my stomach. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> uh, but see, uh, yeah, so the point is... Uh, it appears that uh, Mr. Dukius is a real gung-ho for fighting everyone. And Adam was not so big on it. And every time the sand folks show up, it's always like, hey, this would be a good way to start a war or stop the emperor from showing back up with the skull and stuff. Uh, the generals would have talked with him, so he would know we were coming back. Like, everything lines up. Oh, he probably killed uh, Casas because Casas talked too much to uh, our friend Marius there, huh? I guess in uh, a way it's kind of Marius' fault. Like... Oh well. If but... he knew something, then he didn't come forth to begin with. He deserved to die in the first place. Uh, yeah, that could be a case. Uh, it would have been a big... Uh... A big loss to Duke, he has to lose his vote, but uh, you can't have blabbers, as you know. Um, but here's the problem. Dukeus runs the military, right? Uh, if we, uh, 
if we just kill him now, is there's a good chance it's a, it's a whole coup situation and then they attack us and we die. But if Solus is the emperor, we can be like, hey, he's the emperor. Uh, he's in charge. Oh, by the way, I don't trust this guy. Let's look into him. Does that make sense? He's gonna like slowly like start putting her rapier away. <sighs> so you're saying if we take this carefully. I will tell you though, if it doesn't work out the way that you are proposing, then I don't care what it takes. I'll jump from the top of a building if I if I have the chance to stab Dukius. Oh, okay. I would suggest no, just... uh, if you do that, maybe you... Yeah, since Sona's ahead, he can fly now, so, you know, you can probably just get down there and get him, but... I, I uh, meant, like, I, your the, point is like, grappling hook. Like, come, come down, Ludwig. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, I see, I see. I'm, yes, I'm, uh, you know, I'm also just gonna throw out there real quick that, uh, maybe we should do a little more digging, try and figure it out a little more. <laughs> but also personally i don't know the guy so oh yeah uh right i'm not saying we should just stab him in the face as soon as we get into the room uh because you know i'm at about eh, 75 80 percent uh it's it's always there's always like another guy it could be but eh, the, the signs seem to point that way Well, let's get Solus on the throne, then. And fast. Uh, Solus, does that work for you? So we're in agreement, then. Uh, Solus, are you? Oh, I suppose. Yeah, I guess so. Let's go take a throne. Is there a throne? I don't know how you do it here. Is there, like, a seat and a hat? I don't know about the hat, but there's definitely a throne. There's definitely a throne. Adam never wore a hat. Canon. Adam actually looked bad in hats. Yeah, true. <laughs> he, tri he tried once and was like, no, no, this ain't for me. Yeah. Gave it back to the royal family and was like, you guys can keep your hat. <laughs> honor, Hat of honor. All right, yeah, then I guess... Uh... How do we do this? We get the skull, we take it in, ring the bells, get the council all there in a room. <clears throat> DM. I didn't know that was a question for me. That sounds oh. good. Sure, go yeah. for it. Yeah, yes. go ahead. Is that what would make sense for us to do? Yeah, uh, I guess. Uh, so, Eve, uh, I guess now would be the time to bring that skull out wherever you hid it. Oh, yeah, where you lied to me about where it was. Just in case we forgot. <laughs> Don't worry, I have it safe. Great, but we... Need it? Are we you in get... the council chamber right now? Well, I'm saying, yeah, let's uh, let's go. If you have it on hand, then great. But if you have to like go get it, let's do Hello. that. You think I would let it leave my person? I uh, uh, apparently not. Even though you've definitely claimed that she did. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think Ludwig's not I think you actually over said, it. like. Do you think I would carry it around with me in this city or something like yeah, that? Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. <laughs> yeah, you've never, you've never, it never left Eve's side, basically. Yeah. Yep. yep. Okay. In a um, way, like Ludwig is like, that's smart, but also like. <sighs> <laughs> okay. Um. So yeah, you guys can. Uh, head on towards the council building. Um, I think once you, you know, like, move through the hustle and bustle of the city, and when you arrive, uh, 
Again, the guards know who you are at this point. They let you in. Um, the ones, like, at the actual council doors, they, like, you know, they will stop you, and they'll say, um, council is not assembled just this moment. What's your business? We've come to install the new emperor. They... <laughs> just, just straight bluntly like that. Yeah, I, so I think they council both. Better, so, uh, like, the, so evil just like snaps them. So council better get assembled real fast. <laughs> they both just. I can do like I can do diplomacy or an intimidation if you want. I don't care. Yeah, go ahead. Um, they're for a moment they're just wide eyed and like very confused. Uh, where is it? Yeah, solid. Um, and then, and then, like the one that had his hand up, he like turns and looks at the other one and like slaps him on the shoulder. And he's like, "Go, um, uh, send a runder for the council members that aren't in the building. Assemble the ones that are here now." And um, yeah, the other nods and runs off. And then you guys are uh, left to wait with this one guard, just um, flabbergasted. <laughs> I think while you guys wait, he kind of is looking between all of you, and then. At some point, Eve, he leans in, and he's like, you, you have the head. It's blue salamander. Did I stutter? <laughs> <laughs> he, uh, he coughs. But then, but then Eve, Eve, like, Eve's face up. She's like, yes, yes, we, we killed the tyrant. He will not be bothering our city anymore. Yeah, he, like, I think, um... When you ask if he stutters, he, he starts to straighten up a little bit, and then you say that, and he kind of, like, breathes a sigh, and he'll, like, kind of makes a, um, makes a sign across his chest, and, and nods and says, Well done. <laughs> well done. And, uh, yeah, I think, um, a couple of the council members who are in the building, uh, Chamble is there, uh, New Mary, you know, a couple of, a couple of others are there. They, like, arrive, um, and like Chamble nods at you. <laughs> and I think um uh Numeri, like I don't think they've I don't think she's interacted directly with you all before. Mm -hmm. Um but she's like, you know this like robed kind of young human uh priestess you guys all know of her. She kind of like uh is like a, a an oracle of like the new deities, kind of like able to very easily commune with like the spirits of the land, but, but kind of, you know, local uh, seem to have, like, a closer connection with them than uh, most others, and yeah. A couple These guys arrive, the guard, like, opens the door and, like, lets them in, lets you guys in. You can filter through. Uh, and over the course of the next, I'm gonna say hour, um, the other council members arrive from wherever they are in the city. They're getting summoned. They mostly show up promptly. Um, you guys have anything you talk about for that hour. What are, you, what are you guys doing as you're standing there waiting? Let it be said that I don't have the speech for this moment. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's okay. You know, we probably don't need the big speech so much as just like, look, the skull. A hey, emperor time. <laughs> Do you have, like, plans and stuff? Because if you need ideas, like, I've got a list of things we could start on. I need to see who is going to be in opposition of me. That's fair. Uh, is I, is I make because that? my my first plan is to remove any active military from the council. Unless it oh, is wartime. Oh, that's just lovely to hear. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's an interesting <clears throat> idea. Um, we'll see how that goes over. I like it. I was uh, just about to ask if you could uh, remove Calvin from the council, so thank also, you. If I could, you know, chime Calvin in. is not military, by the way. Oh, Yeah, he's my. like the darters. I, I thought it was a general statement of it was absolutely general. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, the only danger with okay. that uh, is if you lose the military, there's the people with all the weapons, and kid, uh, uh, do you have the concept of a coup? Yes, that's sort of the issue. We can't just defund the city watch. <laughs> oh my. 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 Oh, yeah. All right, yeah. <clears throat> we'll uh, follow your lead. Just uh, we're trusting you to, you know, not uh, not to uh, throw ourselves off a cliff immediately. <clears throat> Let's see. How is this? How's this music gonna be? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Um. We'll go with it for now. Okay, so the council members all kind of arrive as you're as you're discussing amongst yourselves. Um, it mostly their arrivals are uneventful. Goes about as you would expect. Uh, like, I think uh, Dukius kind of like actively sneers at you as he enters, and then Calvin like basically tries not to look at you guys. Just walks in, acts like he's uninterested. Um, uh, Councilman Mila like nods at you when he arrives, but uh, I'm curious, Eve, how you react to that in particular. Like, you uh, just like literally gritting my teeth, like hand, just a hand, kind of like underneath her like tunic, holding like a a, a hidden dagger, basically, oh, like a, a sheath oh, hidden, hidden weapon. <laughs> just gotcha. kind of like, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Um, at, like at it's a same, stress at, ball. At the same Basically, time that's yeah. happening, <laughs> as uh, as Calvin is walking in, Sonus would like as he's walking past Sonus, would grab Calvin's like or set my hand on on his shoulder and be like, "Oh, it's just lovely he, to see you." He looks so alarmed before you even say anything. He like looks at your hand, and looks at you, and like I think he he like. Uh, yeah, he, when you speak to him, he, you know, doesn't, he just stops in his it, tracks, it, basically. And he's staring okay. at you, and he kind of, um, scowls, and, like, kind of, uh, are you, like, holding his shirt? Are you holding his shoulder? It's, like, shoulder, and if he tried to make an effort to actively walk away, Sonus would just grip tighter. Yeah, I think he, um... <laughs> Uh, he, he's going to, yeah, like, grab your wrist and he'll try to, like, pull it off. Like, kind of make an un unhand me motion. Um, do you let that happen or do you, like, uh, keep the grip? Um, I think Sonus would end up grabbing his wrist. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and pulling that off of his uh, arm. And now being like... <laughs> <laughs> oh no there's no need for that i'm just saying it's good to see ya why what did you think was gonna happen he just looks mad and and um i think he looks to address anyone but you basically he like looks and he's like guards our guest is feeling a little too familiar and, uh, like, a couple of them kind of, like, walk towards you, and, and they're... <laughs> one of them is the one that, like, knows that you guys have the head, and he's looking really awkward, but he, he does step forward, um, kind of, like, looking around the room, and, uh... I think, would um... He, would he reach out to grab Sonus? No, I think he, like, uh, no one does yet, but I think, um... Like, they're, they're approaching you, and, like, their hands are technically on their weapons, and they're like, uh, p please allow the council member to, to go to his station, his, his podium. 
Oh, sorry, I was just greeting my good bud here, Calvin. And he would, like, slam his hand down a few times on his shoulder. Um, and then turn towards the guards and be like, So sorry if I was causing any issues, you know, that was not my, wasn't my attempt at all. Yeah, he, like, he staggers, like, takes a few quick steps away and then kind of, like, brushes his shoulder, straightens out his, his cloak and scowls. <laughs> um... And again, he doesn't, like, talk to you. He, he turns and, like, <laughs> walks up to his, his bench, essentially. Um, his little, like, uh, yeah, his podium on the, on the like, outside of the room. Um, and then, yeah, I think everyone's um, could there. Could I and... take a moment here? Uh, real quick, before we go too far. Uh, Eve, do you have the core? The core, yeah, it's the one with uh, with oh, yes. uh, approximately and, and yes. It out. Yeah. Uh, okay, Blevin uh, sweeps the room, and he'll give it to Blevin and have him basically do a spiral <clears throat> around the room up into the rafters down near the floor and just keep an eye on it to make sure it doesn't glow. Yeah, I think um, Counselor Ambus, the one from the Arcane Academy, she like kind of watches it, uh, watches Blevin. It's like. <laughs> Curious creature, what is he doing? Uh, 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 just making sure that there's no, uh, hidden assassins or anything. Prudent, but... It's a heavily guarded building. Yeah, well, assassins, like, go through guards. It's kind of what they do. Keep... Got of shrugs and nods. Um, it does not light up Very as it spirals response. around to seeing Blevin for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> Head of the Arcane Academy. Seeing some yeah, stuff. Yeah, I, I suppose. <laughs> um, so, I think, um, <laughs> Sylvian speaks up first, uh, the prince. He's like, a lot of them are, are, they all have like these podiums. It's kind of like this little small balcony there's um there's a couple of empty ones around uh the room because the council used to be bigger uh kind of like in the middle of adam's reign um but uh most of them are standing at their podiums the prince is like sitting back and like <laughs> looks the most relaxed <laughs> but he says um so we hear you have some some interesting news for us Eve, uh, I guess uh, you have Ziana. Uh, Eve is like really like just not paying attention, and then like just kind of like stealing glances over at Dukius. Yeah, and to be he... like, eh, eh, run that by me one more. I'm so sorry. I just had a thought for a second there. <laughs> um, oh. yeah. How is Dukius looking? He looks. He's, he's regarding you all. Uh, he's in, like, full armor aside from helmet. Uh, he's got, like, a sword at his side. He's, like, kind of a... Um, let's see. He's, uh, yeah, kind of regarding you guys with some, some caution and suspicion. And generally looks calm, though. I'm going to... Pinned. Oh, my God. I'm going to uh, literally just start loosening the grip on my dagger. <clears throat> okay. And, like, kind of darting my eyes around the room, looking for... to see... So how many guards are in this room, basically? Um, so there's, like... Basically, they're very... Um, it's the Presidia Guard that's in here. Um, so kind of, like, uh, fancier than the, the City Watch. Like, full plate mail. They have, like, kind of these uh, this is a curvy kind of elven looking tower shields um mm -hmm. very like fine metalwork and there's kind of like one between every uh what do you call it every podium basically every little yeah uh, outcrop and so i would say including a few like kind of in the hallway coming coming in there's probably around uh 20 
Okay. Uh, yeah, as I was saying, Eve, it's uh, not you have the honor exactly. of showing. Yeah, uh, go ahead and just bring the skull out, uh, and I'll keep an eye on uh, our uh, key suspect, as it were. And Eve, it's not. Uh, you've heard many times that, like, you've heard and seen them just dismissing the guard from the chamber. Mm -hmm. When uh, I'm know, going sensitive to matters uh, and all that. Yeah, I'm gonna pull it. I'm gonna like yeah. The hand that I have on the dagger, I'm going to pull out the chest, the little mini chest, and pop it open. Yeah, so um, it's uh, like a little, this little, same little, like, key trinket you guys have seen a couple of times. Eve, like, holds it out, turns it, it, like... I'm uh, going to drop it, like, as it's growing, drop it, like, in the middle of the chamber, and, like, call out, Behold! Yeah, um, so this... The head this... Of, of the tyrant Salamander. It just, like, grows, and it, it like, pops open and yeah there's a it's you know it's a big chest from the vantage point of the council members on their raised daises they can all see inside they can see like the the, the skull the bone uh, of a uh, salamander and yeah there's kind of um a lot of the guards like gasp and chatter as uh, the the council members mostly calmly look inside um and then like i think um uh yeah, Sinecio, Councilman Sinecio, he, like, <laughs> snaps at the guards. He's like, quiet now. Council business abound. Silence yourselves. Silencio, por favor. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so the guards quiet down, and, um... There's, like... A couple of, like, glances around the room, and then Councilman Mila, like, gestures to it. He's like, Well, there you have it. They were successful at the task that they laid before themselves, that we voted on. This should mean, and he looks around the room, this should mean that, unanimously, one of them will be crowned the new emperor. Are there any objections? And, like, um... I think, um, pretty quickly, like, there's kind of a shuffle from where Calvin Etant is. And he kind of, like, leans against his podium, and he says, <laughs> kind of, uh, makes a show of chuckling to himself, and he says, quite unfortunate timing, I meant to speak to the council today about a discovery I've had recently. We found... We found an heir to the throne, he says, with some, like, gravitas, and starts, like, looking around the room. A close-blood relative of Adam. And so I object. And he kind of hits the podium. It's like, I believe that... I believe that this heir should be put in the throne instead. Find some other reward for these adventurers that happened upon this head. Um, I have, I have a question. Did yeah. he vote against... Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, so he voted against the whole killing of Salamander equals Emperor thing. Yeah, and the prince kind of like leans forward in his chair looking at, uh, at Calvin. And he's like, you go back on a vote, try to... You want the council to go back on their word. That's something as serious as installing an emperor on the throne. Fast way to lose the people's trust. And, uh... You had your trust to begin with? <laughs> <laughs> I think... Someone is uh, probably actually <laughs> just says this definitely <laughs> loud enough for everyone to hear. I think the prince falters a little and looks at you as there's, like, some, um... <laughs> uh... <laughs> yeah... There's, like, some, some general, like, din in here as, like, the council members who are close to each other, like, turn and they start kind of talking and chattering about this. And, uh, um, do you guys kind of say anything as this suggestion comes up? Uh, Eve is going to be, I'm, I'm going to look over at Dukius. Yeah. Um, I think as soon as you do that, he, he, like, straightens himself up and says, I second that motion. 
I do not think these fools worthy. I did not before. I think it is a mistake to put random adventurers on the throne. I didn't realize that you uh, often redid votes. Do you want to just take this one again? <laughs> now that you've, you know, seen it, seen the people that earn it. I think uh, that help you if you knew enough. which one. Of Eve says, <laughs> yeah. like, literally just like fucking pulling out a rapier. <laughs> yeah. Oh my. Oh yeah, when you do that, it's the whole like Oh my like all the guards around the room, glaives go so, down, Sonus shields go would, forward Sonus, like in unison. Sonus would like put his hand on her rapier and like push it down. No, that's not gonna happen, dude. <laughs> I will roll I will happen. roll a strength check. Well <laughs> I mean Eve can Eve can jump away from you pretty easily. Like yeah. I don't Um If you want to do yeah, you can you can try an athletics check to disarm me. That's fine. Yeah, versus like yeah, um, it... yeah. I don't know okay. if you want to make it make it opposed or just like your your DC on like your choice of acrobatics or athletics. I'll do athletics. Oh, I mean for Eve's. Oh, oh yeah, e it's easily gonna. You gotta beat a plus fourteen, I think. Okay, okay, my my athletics is plus fourteen, so. Oh, let me see. Oh damn. Yeah, I have a plus fourteen acrobatics. Okay. Oof. That's not great. How's it sound? Uh, no, but it's it's a twenty four DC, so you beat it. Oh okay. Yeah. Yeah, you just needed a ten. <clears throat> um. Okay, the, so. The, the intent is not necessarily to. I'm just saying, if you try and take Eve's weapon, she will fight you. No, the the intent is like, just she to will... push it down. Mm. Yeah. yeah, Eve, not not the time. <laughs> uh, a little bit of patience is important. Not go flying off the handle. No. No, I'm done being patient. Except, you know, you not being patient has gotten us into a few pretty not too pretty situations. It also got us this head right here. I think, um, you guys are... Hopefully it left you eviscerated and said we went back and got the head, but eh. <laughs> you guys are, your conversation is interrupted. Like, guards are pointing their webs at you, but Sonus, you have your hand on Eve's weapon to whatever effect and fitness that may be. Um, and then uh, Counselor Oxala, head of the, uh, the, the keeper, the head of the library, basically, says, um, who among you would be crowned? Kind of like Eve, she's looking like directly at you, a little <laughs> disapprovingly, <laughs> but uh, waiting for an answer. I assume like this is a moment where all of you would point and turn and if you guys like don't do anything for like two seconds i would so, i would point my rapier uh, at souls right right yeah if, i was if, kind if of no hoping one... you would announce yeah <laughs> yeah if, if no one said anything sonus would speak up and say solace's name okay um that's pretty anticlimactic <laughs> come on <Yeah>. in character dude <laughs> oh, I, in character i think you're you're confusing the way he feels right now. Um, uh, sorry, the way who feels right now? The way Solus feels. I think no, that, no, like... No, we're talking about Sonus. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, so, like, she kind of looks Eve, like, away from you to Solus, and, and something kind of, uh, changes on her face a little bit, and she nods. Like, I kind of wanted to say a thing, but Oh, I mean, you can say a thing. That's fine. She's just looking around and nodding. Yeah. You're welcome to say something. Yeah, I wanted to point the rapier at Solus and be like, Who better to lead the people than one who has walked among them? For... And Eve, like, starts to, like... Eve closes her mouth, like, kind of, like, looks back at Solus. Be like, Solus, how many years? I will owe you. I'm 200. <laughs> I'm 240. 240? Holy shit. 240 <laughs> years in this city. <laughs> Longer even than Adam walked in Eden. 
Sensible. <laughs> um, I think she looks at Calvin. I can give it diplomacy, by the way, if you want. Oh yeah, go for it. That would be that would be helpful for me. Wow, it's shit. <laughs> it's not bad. You got a nice bonus to that. Yeah. Um, so yeah, she'll she'll nod and she'll look at Calvin. She'll say, and kind of between Calvin and Ducius, and say, "Do you want to vote to sate whatever? Just to show, just to show that um, that Lord Abishan has our support, and that you are in the minority here." And um, I think Calvin looks around and nods like a little uncomfortably. <laughs> it's like. But everyone knows the tales of brass. He's there that I've found. I'll know he would brass. make it. A... Yeah. <laughs> oh, is that Slowpoke? Isn't he still like up north? Where you know he like probably spent an extra week to find out that oh no oh god, because we got there first. <laughs> um Sonus at this point with Calvin trying to say that. Mm-hmm. Sonus is finally like because none of the none of the things that he wholeheartedly believed were ever really confirmed about Brass being. Yeah. So now he's just like he thinks he's so smart. <laughs> and so Good. he's yes. he's he is going to speak up. Well first he's gonna to turn to the group. Yeah. And be like Oh I told you guys. Yeah, that's the time, buddy. And no, but then he's going to look at uh, at, at the council members and be like, "But I have several witness accounts behind me of Brass admitting that he does not want the throne out of herit uh, inheritance, but but uh, he wanted to be the one to slay Salamander, and well, that's not the case, so." I don't think he would want or accept the throne. Okay? I, <laughs> I, I, I like that argument. A give, lot. Me, um, give me another uh, diplomacy check. Yo, can, yeah, can someone back me up on that? Uh, if Ludwig could chime in and give can that help action. I do action. intimidation? Because um, I don't care what any of these people think of. That's a I weird thing to intimidate on. I don't know how you're yeah. trying to intimidate them with that. Yeah, what? Uh, yeah, because Ludwig would. I think we were together when we were having that discussion. If yeah. he could do like a help, like. Uh, yes, I was there. Uh, he was sure. pretty sure he needed to earn it. Yeah, if you want to do a, a assist roll with um your yeah. diplomacy. Mm -hmm. um, See about that. Oh, uh, solid. Man, I should. All right. I mean, yeah, that, oh, that works out. Cool. Okay. Um. <laughs> yeah. So uh, he kind of stutters a little he stops being being interrupted and not really knowing what to respond to that with for a moment he says um, I believe we should let let the man the hero of Eden speak for himself he he take care of the Eden. people outside no... of these walls longer he... than any of these adventurers these upstarts so let Owl's it be known breath. Owl's uh, breath. you don't know huh you don't know no one knows how old brass is Oh, I yeah, think really. that I did. I, I thought in the past when I've asked kind of that question, you've given me a general answer. -ish. I've given you information. Yeah. If you, not an <laughs> exact age. If you don't remember what that information is, I'm not gonna bring it back up here. Uh, um, I I am pretty sure you. I was more so trying to verify. I'm pretty sure you made the comment that he was around my same age. Uh, he no. Looked around your same he age. has been adventuring. He was in the Brass Darters, looking about the age he is now. Um when you were just starting and he still looks that same age now that you're like okay yeah um although you know you don't look that much older either because you're half elf but still it, he looks like he has not aged um anyway so yeah and and so he kind of shouts over you guys a little bit he says just keep in mind that that is who you are voting against 
who could take the throne instead of and then he like gestures um, and you get the feeling that he's unhappy that he has to gesture towards Solus as opposed to anyone else in the group <laughs> so, a little less there for him to grab onto but that's that's his argument and he he steps back from his podium um, and then uh, other than this other model citizen <laughs> yes this actually fantastic guy um, and then Oxala, who might be crazy, but... Oxala scoffs a little bit and then, like, looks um, at the party and says, Do you mind if we hold a vote? Just to quiet the voices? I'm confident That's it will go in your favor. There's nothing that you can say or do that will quiet those voices. Of that, I am certain. Having a record that we tried is better than proceeding without. Of course, Counselor. Well, if, a, if, a, if the rulers of a city are so easy to break their promise to the people, then you are not fit to be counselors. Man, that's... <laughs> yeah. Eve, you're killing us here. <laughs> and you, no, no, it's no. true. I mean, it is true. You did is already Brass, vote, Brass but if it makes right you now? feel better. No, no, Brass, no, Brass isn't, isn't here. Okay. Yeah, isn't Brass um, still technically like he's not even in Eden as far as any well, of those? You guys don't know. We've, we've yeah. been here yeah. for a couple days. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, he's <coughs> on his way back for sure. Um, at this point, so let's see. I think um, Oxala like looks still talking to you, Eve. She like looks at Calvin uh, and says, so "I agree with you." Some are certainly less fit. Would you humor us with the vote anyway? Would you humor them with the vote? If that would make it easier, that's probably fine. Is the easiest way to proceed? And then, um... Eve, Eve, like, looking around for, like, just anyone. Like, looking even at, like, her father. Yeah. Like looking for somebody to like speak up, but if nobody does, she'll stay quiet. I think he's um, also just glaring at at Calvin for bringing this up. <laughs> <He's> like... <laughs> Sonus would um, would see that and nod approvingly at the the glaring at Calvin. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think um he. <laughs> <laughs> he probably doesn't speak up in the way that you would like but then he he says um I think that perhaps perhaps a vote on a, a censure would be prudent next he says and like just barely kind of leveling out the anger sorry I'm not doing not doing the low voices so well today, but yeah. Um, so then, uh, yeah, uh, Oxala says, very well. Call for a foolish vote to break our promise. And like, Calvin looks like he's gonna say something to oppose that. But then she um, uh, continues and says like, all in favor of withholding the promise, our prior vote and installing Lord Abishin on the throne. And she like holds up her hand and uh, let's see here. So, so do uh, so do Chamble and uh, Councilman Milo. They both raise their hands very quickly. Um, I think Bria Embes like also does. So do so does Nemeri Tetianus. Uh, Does Chamble look surprised because I did tell Chamble I was going to be the one on the throne? <laughs> <laughs> I think so. Yeah. Like if you're if you're paying attention, um, like if you look to see when like you point your rapier to uh, Solus earlier. He was like blinking and kind of looked taken aback, but then <laughs> oddly soothed. <laughs> um, so yeah, like uh, everyone but uh, uh, okay. There are four people left with their hands down, and that is uh, Calvin Aitant has his hand down. He's not voting to put you on the throne, obviously. Ducius, Sinecio, and then Prince Sylvian. 
And then Sylvian kind of like, he, he's looking back and forth a lot, and then he kind of sighs and raises his hand. Um, and it's just left for the other the other three voting no. Um, and Calvin Aton is just like gripping the podium hard and <laughs> says, uh, Fine. Damn us with another foolish ruler, then. And, uh, yeah. I think he, uh, I think he goes to storm off. <laughs> like, he goes to shoulder past the party. He, like, gets down from his podium, and he's just, like, storming past you guys. And, uh... Sonus would make sure to shoulder check him. <laughs> he... Uh, I turn around. Yeah. And I say, Councilman, this is not convened. He, like, stops... <laughs> And, uh, he kind of, like, kind of, like, resets his jaw and, like, straightens up. And he'll, he'll start, like, slowly walking back to his podium. Thank you. He, yeah, he is, he is fuming. Um, <laughs> and the prince is trying not to chuckle. Uh, Yeah. So then, yeah, he gets back to his podium and he'll gesture to you. Just to like, clarify, the prince voted against us. No, no, no. He no, no. hesitated no, no. and then voted for you. He was... oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. So it was, uh, just sure. so I understand, it was Kelvin, Ducius, and who else? Uh, uh, Senecio, the, the, the previous okay. royal advisor. Uh, the, like, kind of a head of the riverkeep, basically. Kind of groundskeeper guy. Um, yep, yep. He looks less, uh, like, annoyed about the outcome than the others, um, but, yeah. It's like, yeah, uh, Calvin Aton, he, he gets back on his podium, he gestures to you, Solas, and he says, fine. What other business do we have today, then? There are arrangements that must be made, I'm sure, for your coronation. Before... I will even consider a coronation. I need to find the one known as Avarice Cain. Um, all right. If you guys want to just give me a suite of uh, perception checks. <laughs> As we all look at... <laughs> <laughs> Um, there's a lot of chatter. Oh, okay. nice Eve. Yeah, oh my god. That's pretty good. There's a lot of chatter. Everyone's like, Avarice came. And, and the prince, like, scoffs. Just straight up, just like, rolls his eyes. It's like, <laughs> no one's seen him in ages. And, uh... Oh, well, that's not true. I just saw him yesterday, right? Mm-hmm. But in the... Uh, yes. In the middle of the, the sudden kind of chattering from, like, the guards and the council members, like, uh, Ducius, like, his brows, it kind of sets a little. <laughs> There's, like, recognition of the name, uh, but, like, Calvin looks spooked more. Son of a bitch. What do you, what do you mean by spooked? I mean, he, like... Like, um... You mean guilty, or he's do you already mean, like, worried? <laughs> he's already worked up. And that was, like, face kind of changes color a little, reddens a little, and, like... If you get close, he's probably sweating. And again, he's trying to not look at the party more than... Like, before he was scowling at you, now he's trying to look elsewhere and disinterested again. Um... Sonus would call him out and uh, say, "Now, Calvin, what do you have to say about this? You look a, uh, you look a little flushed over there." I think he glares at you and says, "He like shakes his head. <laughs> it's like, and why do you have to find?" One of the Emperor's old companions. What does he have to do with this? Because he... 
has been behind multiple attacks upon this people in Eden, including myself and my friends, and perhaps even the Emperor himself. Oh, and uh, don't forget uh, Council Medlibra as well. Yeah, yeah. He does not look comfortable. Um, so please do forgive my suspicion of all of you. But if I could have each of you step into a circle, and I may, if I may ask you one question, will you do so truthfully? An interrogation as your first act as emperor. He shakes his head. If you have nothing to hide, then there should be no problem. <laughs> Makes kind of like a, a raises a hand to you, it just kind of like waves you off like this is ridiculous. Um, but then Dukius, like, kind of, he's had his arms crossed. He, like, puts his arms down his sides. <laughs> says, Fine, if this allows us to move forward from this meeting. Get on with must must be done, then let us do it. And like, right, there's kind of a suite of agreements around the room. Most most of them are um, in agreement, except for Calvin. Uh, Flavian just nods. It's like, of um, course. Flavian picking up you. on what Soul's plan is, I look back at Soul's and be like, Solus, I still have the scrolls. That's what you're talking about. I have five. And I can cast the spell myself now, so. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I, it, I, I appreciate your help. If you would like to assist me, that would be wonderful. Thank you. Yeah, basically. Oh, no, you <laughs> You've said it's just kind of just like just taking a step back. Around the room, everyone agrees to it. Um, the prince says something snippy about, like, don't ask me anything too embarrassing. In front of all my friends, and um, finally Calvin Aton's just like, let's be on with this farce. And like, yeah, I guess they all step down from their podium because they're like, all right, you know, we're gonna line up for the, the circling. Um, is Blevin when still I, uh, I circling it, I... himself? I really forgot to put it into my spell list. Oh. Um, you said, is Blevelin... Blevelin. Is Blevin Blevelin, still circling? It. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, Could I mean, he still fine. be basically setting a perimeter around the place to make sure we're not seeing a yeah. sudden flash of light? Yeah. Yeah, so I cast it. it, 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 it. Okay. Um, is the DC really 22? Yeah. That seems low. It's wisdom, isn't it? So, oh, so we'll wait. save. Is it wisdom? So I guess this is charisma? Yeah. Like, I think all of your bard spells should be charisma. Yeah, this is correct. Oh, okay. Huh, all right. I, I'm not level 7 yet, which is when I get expert spell casting. Got it. All right. Sure. Um. Let's see. Nine is a lot of will saves. All right. I should have known this was coming and had it ready. Um, okay, so let's see. It's going to be about... Um, uh, they could, uh, the only time they do not... Like, basically the only time they can't lie is if they, like, fail a turkey fail, and then, like, a success is just they lie worse. Okay. It's like minus two, right. So if they succeed the will save, they just take the minus two status penalty. And then if they outright fail, okay, got it, got it, got it. Um, okay, let me hit a bunch of these. Uh, Eve, can I ask for your will save real quick? Just as a baseline of people around your level and I'll adjust. Like what your bonus is.
Okay. <clears throat> so, like... Wow, it's gonna really just throw those out there? Alright, it's fine. Apologize. Okay, I'm good. Sorry. All right, so they will they will line up um, and like go through the circle one at a time. So, is there any particular order you want to go in? Uh, I want Calvin to be last. Okay, sure. Um, okay, then it'll just, I guess, like, Councilman Mila will step up first. And then it'll go, like, Chamble. write this order down. It said Calvin last. Always the performer. <laughs> okay. Um, here's going to be kind of the order then. Sorry, it's not super well formatted. <laughs> Council Mimula first. Alright, I'm trying to figure out how I want to word this. Fuck. <laughs> this is why I literally haven't been talking, because I've been thinking about how to execute this plan. <laughs> but I was like, I'm the Emperor. I'm just going to slam my dick around. What the? <laughs> I mean, that would be a different take on the start of the conversation. True. Hey, what do you think about this scroll of truth? Hey, oh. Um, would you like a break while you think about it, or? It's just a short one, like two or three minutes. Just a short sure. little water break. Okay, um, yeah. Right. Let's, um, sure. let's do that. We'll be back in a minute. <laughs> 